Hey guys, it's John with ChiChiPros.com. It is Sunday, March 28th, 2021. And last week I made a change on the price pick tab on the NBA cheat sheet. And I just wanted to do a quick video to explain it to people. So I cleaned it up a little bit. So one of the things I wanna point out is this is not meant for you to pick players right off of this sheet. This is just meant to point you in the direction of some players to research a little further. And I recommend using our prize pick and player prop cheat sheet. So real quick, I'm gonna run over this. Some of the new things I added here are these columns. And you can see these are the total price points allowed to each position over the last 10 games. And so you can see I listed all the positions here and the total price points allowed. One of the fun things we can do here is we can total this or sort it by the total and say, okay, this team's given up the most prize points overall. And then we can look at the specific positions and say, okay, Portland's given up the most prize points on this slate. So point guards and power forwards are great. Small forwards, they're not giving up very many points to. And that will kind of help point you in the direction of picking some plays. One of the other things we did is we have the stats over the last 10 games, and these are the specific stats, not necessarily just the ranks. Now, if you do want the ranks, you can come over here to our DVP zone, and it'll show you the ranks of every team, every position for every stat, so you can get an idea who's good, who's bad, but I'm trying to keep this simple. So for specific stats, since we use this for player props as well, these are stats last 10 games to the position. The position we're pulling is this one right here. This is the majority. This is the position that is played the majority of the time. So you can see Lowry is a point guard. So Pointland is giving up to the point guard these stats here. We have points, rebounds, assist, three pointers made, and prize pick points. So one of the fun things you can do is also sort this one large, high to low. And then you can say, okay, these guys here have a position, and if you agree with this position is what they play the majority of the time, these guys up here are giving up, are getting the most prize pick point per minute positions. I'm sorry, I'm still drinking my coffee. So they're getting they're getting the most prize points to their position, and then you can come down here and say, okay, these are giving up the least amount of prize picks. So if you find someone over here that's cold or not doing well and they're in a tough position, you know, maybe that's an under that you go with. So I pulled in the whole team, so you can kind of take a look at it, and then I pulled in the specific position, and I converted it into price points. And then also here, we have three different sets of projections, and I wanna explain these real quick. And you can see these numbers here on the left, I'll highlight them for you. If it's over their price pick line, it is green. If it's under, it's blue. So you can see green, 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 blue, blue, blue. If there's three overs or three unders, then over here I just dropped a column and put an over or an under. This is not meant to pick that because I hate projections. I do not recommend using projections, but this will just kind of point you somewhere where you need to research a little bit more. This is your daily raw projections. And again, I do not like projections, but I know a lot of you do. So just the daily fantasy projections. I run it in the morning, I run it again on the PM update of the sheet, and it's gonna show you converted into prize points. This is what they're picking this player to play. And then you can see the difference here, and you can even come over here and just sort this column and say, okay. So for, for example, um, Tucker, his prize line this morning was 22. Now that will change throughout the day and his daily raw projection is 29.7, so they're projecting to go over by seven. Well, when I look at this, he's got a really good spot. If he does play the shooting guard, then they're giving up a ton of points, rebounds, three-pointers, and a ton of prize points to that position, so maybe this is a guy that you look at an over on. Again, that's a decision that you make. Um, so these are the raw projections. And then these are kind of my projections. So this is a 70-30 split between the season and the average. So if you've ever watched any of my videos, you know that I don't like the projected minutes because it's a guess. No one really knows how many minutes they're going to play. So see, where's my minute column? So I look at the minute projection and then the minute average over the last five. And then this 70-30 column, it's gonna kind of split it up and do an average of these two numbers. Just because if you have someone, let's take this guy for example, over the last five games he's averaging 22 minutes, but all of a sudden he's projected for almost 30. 
very rarely does he actually get the 30. It's usually somewhere around 25. So this one is going to take an average of these two. So this is going to put him about 25 minutes, not 29. And then it's going to split up his projection here. And then as far as the price points, I'm going to take 70% of what he's done over the last 30 days and 30% of the season and then take it by the average minutes. And so that's where I'm coming up. This is kind of a safe model you could look at for uh, a prize point projections. And then this one's kind of fun to point you in the right direction. It is just a straight, their projected minutes times their last 30 day prize point per minute. So I switched it from last 15 to last 30 because last 15 is skewed. Some players might have only had two games and it was throwing it way off. So the last 30 days, what they've done in a price point per minute is right here. And then we just take the projected minutes. And then that's going to give us this column here of our projection. And then we can see differences. Um, usually when I submit the sheet for everybody to look at, I look at it here. So one of the big ones you can see is John Collins. Um, his line is 32. If we look at the raw, we're going to get 42, which is a difference of 10. And how we get that number on the season, he's 1.1. He's playing really good over the last 30 days. He's up to almost 1.3, 1.28. And then I really like his minutes over the last five. He's averaging 31 and he's projected 33. So I think his minutes are safe. We could even say 30 minutes and then take it by 1.3 to get a rough number that's going to put him over. A lot of players, they want a usage over 20. Um, otherwise, they find out it's not accurate. So I got the usage in here as well, so you can take a look at it. Um, but he's someone on, if we use the last 30 times his projected minutes, we're going to put him over by 10. If we do our 70-30 split, which is a little safer, he's still over by 7. And then his daily raw projections is 35.8, 32. So we like that. And then you can look at the specific stats allowed by the opponent team here. So that's someone that I may look at is John Collins for today. But again, this video is not meant to pick players or give you players. It's just meant to show you some new things on the sheet. And I did find some neat tricks. I'm going to do a tips and trick video for prize picks uh, shortly. Um, and hopefully we'll get that out. But again, here is the new items we added to the prize pick tab on the NBA cheat sheet. And again, I spent a lot of time on these. So use them, make some money post it. I love seeing people make money. I spend the majority of my time making the sheets, updating the sheets, making sure they're as accurate as possible. And I do that before I play anything myself. If I get all of that stuff caught up, then I will start looking at plays that I like and then I'll post them for people. But that's kind of where we're at right now. So good luck, guys. MLB is coming soon. I'm going to start working on that sheet. I need about a week of data and then we'll rock and roll and we will have price picks on there as well. And I'm extremely excited for that because NBA has been kind of wanky over the last two weeks. So good luck. Talk to you guys in the chat.